and minimalists. <laughs> you had this beautiful moment of of true expression, and it's what our friend Colin Wright calls the "I'll tell you" policy. Mm. Like it, it, he has a, a great book called uh, "Some Thoughts About Relationships." It's it's not just my favorite Colin book, but it's my favorite book about relationships, period. It, it, these little pithy sort of policies that he has about any relationship that he enters into, uh, intimate or otherwise. And one is the I'll tell you policy. And that's the one that I've used most in my current relationship to make it thrive. In fact, when something's not going well, Bex will come to me and say, well, you didn't honor the I'll tell you policy. Ooh, that's good and, to have that kind of accountability for and, it too. And hold each other accountable for that. Mm-hmm. In fact, she did this with me just uh, the other day. And, and, and it, and it can, it's, it's usually with small stuff because you, even with the small things, those things can fester and then resentment builds, right? Mm. If we're not being completely forthright. And, and what you had was this three hour, I'll tell you, like, like battle, battle royal, <laughs> right? Of, of like, here's a lot of things that we haven't maybe stuck to the full, I'll tell you up until this point mm. because she had one foot out for six months. Yeah. And, and, w- for whatever reason, maybe she felt like she couldn't talk to you about it. Maybe she felt like you weren't providing the space for her mm-hmm. to talk about it. Uh, maybe she just wasn't ready to talk about it. But sometimes, before we're even ready, we need to talk. It doesn't mean we just need to uh, vomit up every little thought that we have. No. But in fact, that, that can be detrimental. But if something is going on, we usually know. But the nice thing about that is, Bex and I very rarely go to each other now and say, is everything okay? Oh yeah, no. Because that happens uh, all the time in other relationships that I've had. You sure everything's okay? Like I, I can see it on your features. You're hiding something, mm-hmm. uh, and and maybe you're wanting me to ask you that question so you can open it up. You don't have to wait for me to say is everything okay to tell me what's what's going on. I feel like at yeah. that point, if you're if you're consistently asking your partner like is everything okay, you sure you're, like there is a, a a deeper thing that's happening there where you 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 don't have good communication, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like if you're always wondering and worrying what the other person is feeling thinking and you read into every uh, single situation or facial expression or lack of comment or whatever yeah I feel like you're in a position where uh, you need to have that couple hour long conversation on the couch and say like where where are we at and like here's what I promise to do uh, for you and for myself which is to always be honest and direct to tell you how I'm feeling when it when I feel it it's appropriate yeah, yeah. and that, that communication uh, it can be an error on both sides meaning um, yes, like there's obviously a communication error. Some uh, a partner isn't, my partner isn't willing to tell me what's wrong, but also someone who asks that question a lot, there might be something wrong with themselves. Like mm. they might be uh, themselves holding back some information.